the No Fate channel, checking in. On this episode of Dad's Home Gym, I'm going to be going over the five different types of medicine balls that are out there, some of the pros and cons of each, and helping you decide what's going to be right for your home gym and telling you which ones I personally prefer for my home gym. Hey, if this is your first time to the channel, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button down below. On this series, I simply review a piece of gym equipment, a gym accessory, or have a little bit of a conversation on ways that you can make your home gym better so that you're actually using it. You can't, it's good to have a good home gym that's stacked with equipment, but if you're not putting it to good use, what's the point? So what are medicine balls predominantly used for? And the truth is there's no predominant exercise for medicine balls. They are extremely functional. Um, you can use them from everything from abs to core, lower back, upper body. You can slam them. You can throw them against the wall. You can throw them above the wall. You can play pass with them between friends. Um, you get the idea. There's just so much versatility to these as long as you have a good imagination or you're able to use Google to figure out some new and interesting and extremely fun exercise exercises to do with them. Five types of medicine balls, and we're going to start with the one that I don't have right now, but I will put a picture of it right up here. They tend to be lighter in weight. They are bigger. They're softer. They usually have some type of pleather or fabric-y coating, and they're a lot more forgiving But when you throw them or when you catch them. Predominantly, people love to use them for wall balls because when that weight comes down, again, a lot more forgiving when you catch them. And usually, from what I've seen, they tend to be fairly expensive per pound, um, but people like them. I don't have any, I've never used them, and I tend not to lean that way um, just because they tend to be a lot bulkier for their weight. The other medicine ball that I don't have here um, is going to resemble these medicine balls, except that it has handles. They do create a style of medicine ball that actually has handles on the sides, making it easier to do some of those functional uh, exercises because you've got those handles. Um, and People love them, people like them, because again, it makes it a little bit easier for, for new people, new to medicine balls, to learn how to hold them uh, without the struggles of really trying to like get that forearm grip around them, okay? Um, I don't like them because I think it takes a lot of the work out of the medicine ball. They tend to be lower in weight, they tend to be higher in cost per pound, and again, the, one of the big benefits of these medicine balls is that you have to kind of grab them. You got to kind of manhandle them, guido arm them, you know, really get those, sink those fingers in. Um, and that's a lot of the work. And when you put handles on something like that, it takes a lot of the work out. And so you're kind of just making an exercise that much easier. So let's talk about one of the styles that I have. Now, this is a four pounder, but these things go all the way up to like 20 or 25. And it's You've got like almost like a basketball style uh, plastic or vinyl shell, and it's a hard, uh, it's a hard medicine ball, right? So it's hard, it's heavy. This is only four pounds, but again, these they go a lot higher. The price points are pretty good with regards to these. If you buy them, um, you buy some budget ones, or you buy a whole stack of them. I've got uh, sitting over to my right. I've got like a whole stack of like four pounds all the way up to like twenty pounds. Um, and they're functional. They're really good. They're really durable. These will last you a lifetime in your home gym because you're not going to be beating them up nearly as much as if they were in a local gym. Um, one of the caveats to this where these are not good to throw or slam uh, against a wall or against the floor is that they're going to bounce. Okay, So there is a lot of bounce to these. And so if you're a fan of slam balls, if you're a fan of throwing something against the ground and going to pick it up, or you're going to throw something against the wall, um, you're not going to want to go with these. Um, and that's really, these are probably the ones that are best known because they've got a good price point for the weight. Uh, they're easily accessible. They've got some really fun colors and they get, tend to be sold in sets. And that's why people like them. And I do recommend them if this is going to be up your alley. So the other two types of medicine balls that we're going to discuss are called slam balls. And as you might expect, you can slam them. So the big difference with these slam balls versus the one that I just showed you is that when they hit the ground, there's no bounce. So there's like a little, hopefully you can hear that. There's like, there's like a, a, a mush, there's like sand or a mush or an inside bladder in here that has some give to it, right? So even with the heavy ones, there's some give. So when this hits the ground, there's going to be little to no bounce. Same thing when it hits a wall, boom, it's just going to die there because of that because of that give and because of that weight that's moving around in here. Um, so the big difference between these two, as you can probably see, besides obviously the weight, is going to be the texture. So if you're on a budget and you want to get something like this, you would go with 
Um, this, which is the cheaper version, there's no texture to it. It's relatively smooth. It's smoother than a basketball, and it does create more work to pick it up. There's really no place for your fingers to get a good hold on it. And even though this is 20 pounds and it doesn't seem like a lot, it gets heavy quite, quite quickly. Um, and then you get bah, 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 the one with the texture. Now, the, the textured ones, they do sell different versions, but they're all predominantly the same where they've got these these grooves. They're ribbed for uh, his and her pleasure uh, with respect to kind of making sure you get like a little bit of a base when you try to grab it. So it's not like a major hold, but it's just enough to make these things a little bit easier to hold or grab or pick up or move around, uh, especially when your hands get sweaty and slippery. In terms of price points, if we were talking apples and apples, if this was a 40 pounder and this was a 40 pounder, the difference in price is very small. It tends to be about five to eight dollars. Um, and it all depends on your preference. For me, um, I actually don't have a preference. I'm usually right on the middle because I can see the point of having to work a little bit harder with the lighter weight, but I definitely see the benefit when you get pretty heavy um, and you're really gonna be put, you're going more on the heavier side and, and doing a lot more, you know, just heavier weight. It's good to have that grip. It's not much, but it's just enough uh, to keep your, your wrist from completely burning out. Um, so which one of those five do I think is probably the best bet for your home gym? And I'm going to say I would go with the textured versions of, uh, of the slam ball for a few reasons. Number one, um, you can get these at a pretty good rate, even though obviously the heavier you go, the more expensive they get. You can get these at a fairly good rate and the textured portion to get the extra textured part, not that much overall when you consider these are probably going to last you a lifetime. If you've ever seen these in a local gym, they do tend to break, they tend to split and crack, and the reason is use. You're probably going to use this at most once, maybe, maybe three times a week, and if this was at your local gym, it's probably going to be used 10 to 20 times a day with people that are not going to be nearly as forgiving. Sometimes I've seen people go into local gyms and they purposely try to break um, some of the slam balls because they think it's like, you know, a, a testament to their strength or some, some BS, so they're really trying to like... Uh, beat up uh, some of the gym equipment. So that's why you see some of these failing. But I, I guarantee you, if you get this for your home gym, even if you're a tough, tough, strong person, you're not going to break these or you're going to have to try really hard over a long period of time to get these to split. So I happen to think that the textured ones are the way to go because they're versatile. If you got a whole set of textured from like 10 pounds, 20 pounds, 30, 40 pounds, or even a five pounder, you can do all the functional uh, exercises that you want and you still have the fun factor of being able to slam it against a wall against a floor just throw it over your shoulder and know that when it lands on the other side it's not going to be going anywhere because you're going to get that that deadening effect when it hits the ground you can do wall balls with these obviously you're probably going to want to stick to a lighter weight and you're going to be want to be more mindful of making sure you don't catch one of these in the face because uh, you know, for, there's just no give to them. I mean, they, they'll die on the floor, but there's no give if they hit it in your, hit you in the face. Um, but again, in terms of versatility, in terms of buying one ball um, and getting a lot of use out of it, I think this is the way to go. Um, obviously, I've got a few iterations because I've been building this home gym for quite a long time. But if, but if for some reason I had to restart, I would go with the textured um, medicine balls uh, over any of the other versions because again, versatility and I think it's going to save you space from owning a whole bunch of medicine balls that you're not necessarily going to use. Um, it allows you to own just say like four, maybe even five medicine balls. That's going to cover a wide range of exercises um, and fitness levels. Hey, listen, if you guys came this far in the video and have any questions, any questions whatsoever regarding medicine balls or any other gym questions, your home gym questions, drop them in the comments below. I answer every one of my comments myself and I will get them answered as quick as I can. So just, hey, drop it in the comments below. I would love to hear from you, even if you're just checking in. Now, if you came this far in the video, do me a favor and don't be afraid to use my Amazon affiliate link in the description of this video. How does it work? You click on that link, it brings you to Amazon. You buy whatever you were gonna buy on amazon.com. In case you've heard of that website, you might already be shopping on amazon.com at this very moment. Um, and what that does is it sends me a very small percentage of what you buy in terms of what you pay. It doesn't cost you anything extra. Helps me keep the lights on, helps me do these videos, and it shows, it shows that, hey, you care. 
you care that Amazon doesn't make more money than they already are making and it spreads the wealth around. You know what I'm saying? Give me a little bit of a taste, right? Okay, if you came this far in the video, do me a favor, give this video a like, hit that subscribe button, drop a comment, ring the notification bell. As usual, thanks for watching and don't save anything for the trip back. I am dedicated to helping you be a great parent to your children and still accomplish your own personal goals. I provide ideas and insights to help you save time, money, and your sanity. Three things that are in short supply for every parent out there.